going on, race fans? It's Monday. I stripped the car down. Started working on some body panels. I had my bars all banged up. My body got banged up. Pretty simple fix for the body work. Just got to jump on it and flatten it out. Not going to buy nothing new for it. I did have a new panel for the opposite side of the car here. I was lucky that um, Dave Thompson hooked me up with some used body panels. They were still in good shape, so I just slapped that on there. I didn't get in, into any cars. I just hit the track. The track was so rough this week at Airborne that uh, I bent, bent up some body panels from the car bottom, you know. And... I did have a car get into me on the left side here. That's why it took damage. Hit it with a sledgehammer and should go back together pretty straight. Good as new. Well, I did end up breaking the U-bolt and the yokes. So I did end up making it to the parts store. This is one of the pieces that I had to purchase. You can see the price tag on it. Hundred dollars for that. This was the yoke that slips over their drive shaft. Good quality parts. So pretty expensive. Uh, pretty expensive piece. Something expensive to break and all over an eleven dollar U bolt. <laughs> so make sure you put on some good. U bolts under your car, they're cheap enough. It could have saved me it could have saved me a couple hundred dollars and buying a couple yokes. But I didn't have it laying around and I had to work on it a few times. So what happened before airborne, I I had a leaking the rear end was leaking from the pinion where the yoke comes out. So I had to take that apart and put it back together a couple times and I ended up forgetting to put one of the pieces back on a spacer that goes between the yoke and the rear end shaft. So I had to take it back apart and put it back together. So like, I did it like three times. I also ended up breaking a bolt that holds the yoke on inside of the shaft. So it was flush. I, that was, this, this was the night before the race and it, I almost thought I wasn't going to make it because it sounded like I had to take the whole rear end apart and take the whole shaft out. But well, I ended up welding the bolt inside of the rear end shaft and I welded it and then I put a vice grip on the little welds that I put on and it spun right out. I got pretty lucky with that and saved me a lot of money, but it cost me a lot of time and I had to take the U-bolts off about three or four times. So I guess uh, they weren't no more good after that because it didn't end up holding for the, the heat race. I only got a few laps out of it. So it did end up breaking anyways. Um, I ended up buying a couple parts from a couple drivers and I also got the yoke, the yoke and the U-joint complete. Um, it was from Matt Woodruff who drives the 55 car. I, uh, I think it's sponsored by Woodruff powder coating, but he ended up letting me borrow a part and he just told me to give it back to him when I was done. Uh, this coming week at Mohawk, I, I'll give it back to him and I'll be able to put my car back together with my part. So. Um, definitely an expensive hobby, an expensive sport to take part in. You see how much those parts uh, were. <laughs> and then, uh, so, how much did it cost to go racing this past weekend? It, it was uh, it was quite a bit. So, the price of race fuel just went up. I was paying $11, for, $11 a gallon for racing fuel. That went up to $15 a gallon this past week. So that's how much uh, it costs to put fuel in the car. And I usually go through about 10 to 12 gallons per race night. Um, I was, I'm glad and I was pretty happy that Airborne had a pretty reasonable price to get in the pits. For, uh, for each person to get in the pits, it was $30. That was pretty reasonable. So that kind of helped out a little bit. Uh, I think tires, tires went up to 225. I haven't bought any tires this year. I'm just gonna keep running the ones I had from last year. 
they're not entirely bad they're, they're not entirely great either but they're not bad they're still good for a few more races so i'm gonna try to stretch it out i'm not really trying to sink a whole bunch of money into this this year or at least to the start i have a couple projects going around um at home i'm around my home so i'm trying to put money into the house instead of uh my my hobbies i guess but just a pretty expensive hobby overall um this weekend we got some rc racing coming on wednesday so still an expensive hobby but not quite as much as the real modified and uh just as much fun so we have here in Akwazasana on the reservation, we have everybody that was into RCing. It got big over the last summer. They ended up building tracks in their backyard. And some of them are pretty nice. It looks uh, very professional with billboards and lighting and a winter circles and just an awesome setup. And great that the community gets together and gets to have some fun uh, doing small scale racing, but with big fun. And it goes right along with my, uh, my sponsor, RC World Raceway. I'm still waiting for the stickers to come in. I haven't been able to put that on the car yet with uh, the new with the sticker guy. He's been super busy too. We got a lot going on in the, around town. So once I get, I can, I can't wait to get that on there. Get my stickers on the car. I have that blank spot on the back of my car. I probably won't even get it wrapped. I'm just gonna probably leave it for now. It was only, it was only my business anyway. So <laughs> no big deal for me. As long as I get to make it out there for the first race of the season. I did go to practice at, at Mohawk on Sunday. I took a couple laps. The track was super wet and heavy and pretty much hammered down. It was really fast. Tried out the same gear that I used at Airborne, which was higher than I used last year, higher gear. And I never hit the rev box, so I'm pretty sure I'm just going to run this one this year and see how that one turns up. Maybe I can give it some more gear too, I don't know. Still learning, I'm still learning as I go, writing everything down as it happens. Um, pretty excited about heading there this Friday. I think it's on Friday the 13th is their first race of the season. That's going to be awesome. But yeah, I'm just working on some parts and once I get this body work straightened out a little bit, I'll give her, get her washed down, get the car washed up and... I'll start working on my drivetrain and then I gotta go over that make sure nothing else is broken because with uh, the drive shaft spinning and stuff it could have caused damage to the torque plates and that would uh those gotta be in perfect condition or, or at least close to perfect condition they gotta at least be straight and hopefully uh no damage no cuts in it no cracks make sure it's all good and safe to go racing well, that's what I'm working on. It's only Monday and I have a few more days left of, uh, a few more days left to get this running. So I, I got my babies inside the house with my father. So my father's keeping an eye on it right now. And, uh, they're probably chasing her around the house or maybe she's settled down by now. It's almost nine o'clock as I, as I do this. So, <laughs> but she's so fast. And then, uh, He's gonna take her tomorrow because every Tuesday uh, he spends time with her on Tuesdays. And then my, my mother, uh, every Thursday, because Thursdays was RC racing during the winter time, my mother would always take her take her on Thursday night. So for this week, anyways, she be she'll be able to spend time with them and I'll be able to put some little extra time into the race car to get it ready for the, the racing season. Uh, it's just me here working on the car tonight. Uh, usually worm stops in he was here last night when we pulled the panels off and he's flattening them out and making them straight again but that's what's up for today <laughs> just wanted to fill you in and maybe and i knew you wanted to see the videos um what i'm working on at home so i wish i could have recorded the video from the Saturday night before Airborne, or I think it was the Friday night before Airborne, because I was uh, super stressed out <laughs> from breaking the parts and trying to get back together, and I was pretty worried, and it's pretty, I didn't think I was going to make it to Airborne, just because of, uh, well, I thought it was a serious problem, and ended up getting through it, just keep working at it and get through it, you never know what could happen.
So that's the update. That's the update and maybe I'll see you again. Either the next video is gonna be on race day or maybe I'll take you along and we'll go RC racing on Wednesday. So don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and click that little bell to receive notifications. I wanna thank everybody for commenting on the videos and liking the video. Airborne did awesome with the likes in the video. You matched Fulton's. So I guess it doesn't really have too much effect on the views, but you definitely matched it in the likes and the comments. So that was awesome. It showed uh it showed your dedication over there in uh Plattsburgh Airborne Speedway. So that was awesome. Uh, thank you very much for watching the whole video. And stay tuned, we're heading to Mohawk on Friday the 13th. Peace out. Let's go. Time is racing, got me pacing. Too many homies gone, ain't no way I could replace them. Mind's twisted, cause it's happiness I'm chasing. If you only knew all these obstacles I'm facing. Yo, now I try to look to the brighter side. Too many years in the darkest time, I see a lighter side. There was times I really thought it was over. I was too far gone, now I find myself sober. Love